When upon thy billows you are tempest tossed, when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the
you today? Amen. Is the Lord worthy? Amen. 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 The songwriter said, count your many blessings. Amen. Amen. See what God has done. There's Amen. a verse there. I want to just quote the words real quick. It say, are you ever burdened with a load of care? Thus the cross seems heavy. You are called to bear. Count your many blessings. Every doubt will fly. And you will be singing as the days goes by. Praise the Lord. We thank God for his grace. And we thank him for his mercy. Thanking God for the strength that you've given us. Amen. We certainly are going from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. And today we have appeared in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And we thank God for the strength that you've given us. As we get ready to go into the word of the Lord, we want to acknowledge him. And as always, we pray and we depend on the Holy Ghost. Because without the Holy Ghost, amen, we'll just be like wind. Praise the Lord. But we want to be effective in the word of God. That the word of God will be like a seed that plants in the hearts of the children of God. That it can grow and bring forth fruit of righteousness, amen, and holiness. So at this time, we're going to actually compress it. To lead us to the throne of grace. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, being in the house of prayer once again, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day that you kept us. We thank you for all you had done, what you're about to do. Go with us and step out tonight, Lord. Lead us in God's right now. Help us let you hear what's coming out of help. Rely on our help that's coming from you. Bless those that are sick, those that shed in tonight, Lord. Bless the Lord, our help to get him straight. Bless his home and his family. Bless the word come forward tonight, Lord. Get to hear what your word has to say tonight, Lord. Open up our heart, our mind, Lord, with the understanding and see your word. Go with us to stand by right now. Let's do little down my pain, my faith tonight, Lord. Touch right now, Lord. All you've done, what you're about to do, we thank you. We praise you. Give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Presley. Amen. Happy to be in the house of the Lord. And I'm happy, amen, for the strength of the Lord. Because without the Lord's strength, amen, we are not able to make this journey. So we are grateful tonight, amen, for our Bible study. Amen. The Lord has dropped this verse of scripture and a few other scriptures on my mind. Praise the Lord. And we want to hear what the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Is saying to each and every one of us, praise the Lord. So we want to call your attention tonight to the book of 1 Kings chapter number 22. 1 Kings chapter number 22. First Kings chapter number 22. All right. 1 Kings 22, verse number 1. I'm ready when you are, David. Amen. And they continued three years without war between Syria mm -hmm. and Israel. And Israel. And it came to pass in the third year. It came to pass in the third year. That Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. The king of Judah. Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. Came down to the king of Israel. Came down to the king of Israel. And the king of Israel said unto his servants, mm -hmm. Know ye that Ramoth and Gilead is ours? Don't you know that they belong to us? And we be still. And we stand and still. And take it not out of the hand of the king of Syria. All right, and if it belong to us, amen, someone else have it, and we're standing still, and one go up and take it. Read on. And he said unto Jehoshaphat. And he said unto Jehoshaphat. Wilt thou go with me to battle to Ramoth Gilead? All right. So the king of Israel said unto the king of Judah. Praise the Lord, which is Ahab, king of Israel, to the king of Judah, which is Jehoshaphat. Wilt thou go with me? To battle. To battle. To Ramoth Gilead. To Ramoth Gilead. And Jehoshaphat said to the king. And Jehoshaphat said to the king. King of Israel. King of Israel. I am as thou art. I am as thou art. My people as thy people. And my people as thy people. My horses as thy horses. All right, praise the Lord. So we see here, praise the Lord, at this time, amen, the nation of Israel, praise the Lord, was divided into two. 
Praise the Lord. You had Judah, and then you also had Israel. Praise the Lord. So Ahab was the king of Israel at that time, and Jehoshaphat was the king of Judah. Praise the Lord. And King Ahab wanted to ask, or which he did ask Jehoshaphat, will you go with me? Oh, praise the Lord. Will you go up with me to Ramoth Gilead so we can conquer, praise the Lord, and take it out of the hands of those that occupied those two lands? Praise the Lord, if you let me say it that way. Praise the Lord. But Joseph had said, my people are your people. Praise the Lord. My horses are your horses. Praise the Lord. Now, I, I begin to think about that, and as I begin to look into that on yesterday, Praise the Lord. It, it never really dawned on me. I, I can't recall. Praise the Lord. If I did, it's been a while, so I don't forgot. Praise the Lord. But it came to my attention that Ahab married to Jezebel. All right? And Ahab and Jezebel had a daughter. All right? Praise the Lord. And their daughter married to Jehoshaphat's son. Praise the Lord. So in, in, in some sense... Praise the Lord. They were related. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, and, and, and the daughter's name was Atalea. Mm -hmm. All right, Atalea. Queen Atalea. Praise the Lord. And if you get a chance, you can study it and read it because she was the first woman, praise the Lord, to sit on the throne in terms of leadership on, in that position. But Queen Athaliah, praise the Lord, she did not sit on there where God didn't place her. All right, it was not God that placed her in that position. What she did, she murdered her grandson. All right, and she ascended to the throne. But what she did not know that there was another son that escaped. All right, and because that son was escaped, I believe his name was Jehu. Praise the Lord. You understand? Uh, 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 someone nursed him and brought him up. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And when the time was right, a proclamation was made. You understand? Long live the king. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And when she heard that proclamation, because certainly if her parents were Ahab and Jezebel, you know what type of spirit Athaliah had. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And as I began to study that thing, praise the Lord, God told David, Praise the Lord. I will not suffer you a man. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. To sit upon your throne. All right. Praise the Lord. So God said, David, I'm going to always have a man. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. God never. Praise the Lord. Lord, I feel all right. Okay. God never said a woman was going to sit on the throne of David. God said, David, I promise you that I will not fail you a man. Praise the Lord. So she usurped that authority or that position, and she put herself in that position. Now she know it wasn't a position for her. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Huh? She know it was not a position for her, but yet in order for her to get the position, she killed her own grandson. Praise the Lord. Just to get a position that don't belong to the woman. Praise the Lord. God said, Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. And she decided, well, that's what God said, but I'm going to do my thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, pray. Listen, saints of God, let's not get in our mind that we're going to do our thing. Mm -hmm. All right. The subject tonight is hear ye the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And I want you to forget about me. Don't worry about Bishop McBean. Praise the Lord. All right, but just think about what he's saying coming from the word of the Lord. Now, the reason why it's called the word of the Lord, because it proceeded from God. Praise the Lord. You understand? And if it proceeds from God, that's why it's called what? The word of the Lord. It does not proceed from Deacon Leroy. It does not proceed from Bishop McBean. It does not proceed out of the mouth of any one of the saints here. The Bible said, you understand, by the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Get me Psalms chapter 33. Praise the Lord. Let's hear what God's word said because so many people have come up with what they think. Praise the Lord. You understand? And I'm going to say this. The authority of God is his word. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You understand? And let me say this. All right. Get, get me Psalms chapter 33 verse 6 real quick, Deacon. By the word of the Lord. By Deacon Leroy's word. By 
by the word of the Lord. All right, all right. You don't have the title of a bishop. No, sir. By Bishop McBean's word. By the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. By the word of the Lord. Were the heavens made. All right, so how were the heavens made? By the word of the Lord. All right, so it all came about because God. Is that right? Amen. Praise the Lord, and, and the Bible is right. Amen. Praise the Lord, and you don't have to believe me. Praise the Lord, the Bible said, let God be true, and every man a liar. Praise the Lord, for the other side, it's all right if you don't, praise the Lord, love truth. Ah, you don't want to hear it, praise the Lord, but truth still is true. Still true. Praise the Lord, you can't change it, and I can't change it. God's word is settled in heaven. Mm -hmm. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. And all the host of and all the hosts thereof. By the breath of his mouth. All right, by the breath of whose mouth? God's mouth. All right, by the breath of God's mouth. He, Read on. He gathereth the waters of the sea. He gathereth waters of the sea together as a heap he gathered the water together as the sea as a heap he layeth up the depth in storehouses god lay up the depth in storehouses let all the earth fear the lord let all the earth is that what god said Amen. praise the lord god said let all the earth fear the lord and that means every living creature upon this earth especially mankind fear the lord. praise the lord god and that's what don't happen, praise the Lord, in, in, in many places. But I'm glad that there are people upon this earth from the east, west, the north, and the south that has not lost the fear of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. There are people all over this world still, praise the Lord, is cultivating every day the fear of the Lord. And they fear God so much because of their obedience to God and His Word. There are people around this world, praise the Lord, have refused to compromise and go along with what the world is saying. They decided that they're going to obey God, come what may. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm reminded, you, praise the Lord, years ago. I don't know, but I believe the Lord gave it to him. And the reason why I say it, praise the Lord, is not because Bishop Bailey said it. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But what Bishop Bailey said was true. Praise the Lord. And if he says something that's true, I'm going to repeat it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Some folks got a hole. Some folks got a problem. Praise the Lord. Say the pledge. Mm. But when I really look at it, praise the Lord, it's coming from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You understand? And our allegiance as the people of God ought to be to God and to his son. Amen. Praise the Lord. And not only that, but his word. Now, uh, we the people of God must obey the Bible and, and they say what? Come what may. You understand? We got to obey God's word. Come what may. The church must not compromise. The church must not take down from the word of God because the word of God has been settled. And whatever God settled, can't nobody unsettle it. Amen. Praise the Lord. No matter how much education people have, it doesn't matter what title we have. No one can unsettle or change the word of God. Bishop McBean cannot call to the word of God. I can replace some words, but the word that proceeded from the lips of God, I cannot change it. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if I can't change it, and God said it's not going to change, can nobody change it? Amen. Praise the Lord. Read on, deacon. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all Praise the Lord. Fear Bishop McBee. Fear God. Praise the Lord. You understand? 
when you look at me, <laughs> you ain't very much neither. Praise the Lord. I, I probably look like I can't harm a fly, or you ain't got worry about me. Praise the Lord. You understand? But don't worry about fearing man. Fear God and keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. That's what the Lord is stirring up in our hearts. Praise the Lord. To fear God and keep his commandments. Because Bishop McBee don't got no commandment. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, you understand? And the commandment was written with Moses' finger. Is that right? Amen. Y'all yeah, say amen. amen. All right, you see, don't call it real quick. Praise the Lord, you understand? It wasn't Moses' finger that wrote the Ten Commandments. The Bible said written by and with the finger of God. So if God wrote it, who will change it? Praise the Lord. And if God said it's all right, who can come and say it's not all right? Praise the Lord. Who's bigger than God? Mm. Praise the Lord. Can the clay tell the potter? Mm. Huh? Does the clay have any power over the potter? Sure. Praise the Lord. Who's in charge? I, is it, is it, is it, I believe there's a, uh, it was a series or what if say, charge in charge? Mm. Something like that. Praise the Lord. You understand? But, but that's the show on TV. But when it comes to the Bible, God is in charge. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the Holy Ghost is in control. Oh, praise the Lord. Read on, Deacon. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world. Let all the inhabitants of the earth stand in awe of Him. Stand in awe of who? Of God. All right, stand in awe of God. Reverence God. That's what God wants from the whole world is to reverence God. Praise the Lord. I saw something on TV. I don't know if it's true, but they're talking about, you understand, putting back the Ten Commandments in the school. Praise the Lord. And when I saw that, that's something I can rejoice about. Praise the Lord. Because whenever you take God out of anything, praise the Lord, there's only two spirits, you understand, in this world. You understand? The spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Praise the Lord. And whenever you run away from God, you're running into the high hands of the devil. And whenever you run out from the hands of the devil, you're running to God. Praise the Lord. There ain't no in-between spirit. So you understand, you either in the kingdom of, of darkness or in the kingdom of light. There is no, you understand, middle ground. And you can't get one foot in light and one in darkness. Praise the Lord. But if you love darkness, praise the Lord, you're going to hate light. And if you love light, you're going to hate darkness. Praise the Lord, you understand? So you got to ask yourself the question, am I a child of the kingdom of darkness or am I a child of the kingdom of light? Praise the Lord, but you understand? Men love darkness, the Bible said, rather than light. And the reason why folks don't want to come to the light because the light reveals what is done in the darkness. And folks don't want to give up what, what type of light they're living in the darkness. They want to come as they are and they want to remain and stay as they are. Or you can come as you are. Praise the Lord. But when you come as you are, you will be changed. Praise the Lord. You understand? And the word of God is what changes an individual. Not the pastor. Not the saint. It's the word that changes an individual. Read on, Dickon. For he spake. He spake. And it was done. And it was done. He commanded. God spoke and it was done. God commanded. And it stood fast. All right. God spoke and it was done. God commanded and it stood fast. Praise the Lord. It took God's word, you understand, for creation to come to pass. Praise the Lord. Creation didn't come to pass because of man. Creation is here because of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So after later, praise the Lord, she ascended to the throne by murdering her own grandson. Praise the Lord. But yet she knows, she knew very well it was not for her to be in that position. Praise the Lord. Let me ask you a question today. What position you in that you know God don't want you there? All right. All right. And if God didn't place you in the position, whether it be a man or a woman, that's not your place. Praise the Lord. You understand? If God put the man there, that's where God wanted him. Praise the Lord. And if God put the woman where, you understand, where his word said for her to be, that's where she ought to be. All right? You look around today, you got a lot of women running around calling themselves bishop. Praise the Lord. You understand? Bishop this, apostle this. Matter of fact, you got men, praise the Lord, running around calling themselves apostles also. Praise the Lord. 
A lot of folks are doing what they want to do. They ain't doing what the Bible say. Praise the Lord. And then they want to shove it in your face and tell you, you understand, you better eat it. <laughs> Praise the Lord, you understand, because I say it's good to eat. Oh, no, if the word of God says it's good to eat, I'm going to eat. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Somebody told me, they said, that, you understand, their mother didn't give them any, anything on the table to eat. She wanted to make sure that our children had what was good for them to eat. Mm. Praise the Lord, you understand? God provided us some good food. Praise the Lord, all the way from Genesis unto Revelation, praise the Lord. God know what his children need. Praise the Lord, and I want to eat this Bible up. That's what the Lord told Ezekiel, son of man. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, eat the entire roll. Eat it all. Sit. Oh, that happened to us. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. 
Praise the Lord. And if you don't believe, you, you will get sick one day. You will, oh, you know, old folks will say, keep on living. Uh, and, and you will learn something. You may not feel that pain. Now, but brother and sister, just keep reading. Praise the Lord. Amen. And when you get to that place, you're going to remember what them old folks said. Keep living and life will teach you certain things. Praise the Lord. So I thank God for his word. Praise the Lord. You understand? And I thank God, praise the Lord, for those that have taught us the word of God. I appreciate what they have done. Praise the Lord. And I tell you, you know what? Listen. What Bishop Bailey and all of them have done, they Praise the Lord. And nobody can do nothing unto their works. Their works are done. Praise the Lord. You understand? And God got a record and God will repay them for all of their works. Praise the Lord. But let me say this and I hope you understand where I'm coming from. But Bishop McBee, praise the Lord. There's an old saying them old folks used to say, every tub got to stand on his own what? It's got to stand on his own bottom. So yeah, I appreciate my forefathers and all them, but Bishop McBee got to stand, you understand, every top got to stand on his own bottom. Yeah, you appreciate and thank God for them, praise the Lord. You understand, always appreciate what they have done, praise the Lord. But I don't worship none of them above this Bible. Praise the Lord, I refuse to worship any one of them above God. Because the same God they serve is the same God we serve today. Yeah. And the same Holy Ghost they had is the same Holy Ghost we got today. And the same word that they obeyed is the same word that is left for the church to keep on obeying. And we ain't going to stop obeying until we kick the dust or until Jesus comes. Is that right? Yeah. Praise the Lord. So she ascended to the throne and killed her own ransom. But God The Bible said, humble yourself mm -hmm. under the mighty hands of God, and he will. Praise the Lord. Let God do the exalted. Praise the Lord. And if God wants you there, oh, no matter what they say or do, God got a place for you. Praise the Lord. God got something for you to do. Praise the Lord. You understand? You, listen, you can fire a man from a work. You understand? But you can't fire him from his job. Praise the Lord. You understand? Because if it's built in the man, uh, like they said, you can take the man out the country, but you can't take the country out the man. Praise the Lord. As long as that gift remains in that man or woman, wherever God plays them, you can't take that gift away. Praise the Lord. You can take this position away. You can fire them from this. Get rid of them. But guess what? The gift that God has placed within them, whether be a boy or a girl, you cannot take that from them. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I'm so glad that the anointing of God and the Holy Ghost is still real. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I can feel it in my soul. Praise the Lord. You understand? I can feel it in my bones. Mm. Praise the Lord. And I ask the Lord again. I said, Lord, strengthen this young man. Praise the Lord. Strengthen my body. Strengthen my mind. Because my aim is to declare truth unto the people of God. I want truth to prevail and give it to the people. Praise the Lord. This platform is not for us bishops. Praise the Lord. This is all about God. And the Bible said, feed the church of God over which the Holy Ghost has made you what? Overseer. See, the problem is some folks are overseer and the Holy Ghost didn't make them no overseer. For praise the Lord. People make them overseers. Praise the Lord. I, I heard, um, and, I, and, I, and I agree with this. Praise the Lord. Because what, 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 what something Bishop Jones said during the, um, the installation service. So Bishop, that's true. He said some people are God called. Now some are people called and some are self called. I said praise the Lord, Bishop. You sure enough right. Praise the Lord. You understand? I don't want to be people called. And I don't want to be self called. I want to be God called. Praise the Lord. Because the Bible said, well, He whom God said, speaketh the word of God. That separates a preacher that comes from God and a preacher that is self taught or people taught. When you are self taught, you can present yourself. When you are people taught, you can present what the people want to hear. But when you are God, what God say. Praise the Lord. 
in your mind. You got to suffer for what God said. Praise the Lord. But that's all right. Saints of God, if you got to suffer for God, what God said, praise the Lord. Come to the Lord joy. Praise the Lord. Knowing this also that the suffering of this present time is not even worthy to be compared to the glory. Praise the Lord. Yes, we suffer for standing the what's right, but it cannot be compared to the glory that awaits the saints. Come on, you can read on. Back in Kings. And Jehoshaphat said unto the king. Jehoshaphat said unto the king. Of Israel. Of Israel. Inquire, I pray thee. Inquire, I pray thee. At the word of the Lord today. Well, what did Jehoshaphat say? Inquire of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I said, let's go. Jehoshaphat said, wait a minute. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Jehoshaphat was smart enough to know. Yeah, we family. Praise the Lord. But let's go on our own step. The Bible said the step of a good man, woman, boy or girl, is ordered by the Lord. Before we even go up to Ram and Gideon, let us inquire of the Lord. Let's hear what the Lord got to say. Yes, I'm a king. You're a king. But don't let us forget who's in charge and God is in charge. And the people that we are over, they are God's people. So before we make let us hear what the word of the Lord has to say to us. And that's what people need to ask themselves. When you hear certain things, is it lining up with the word of God? I can come and tell you what I want to, but your job, you understand, is to search the scriptures. Is that right? Amen. Jesus said it like this. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have what? eternal life, but it's they that what? Testify of me. I am the one that the prophets have spoke of. So if you can, if they went back to the Old Testament, they can prove, Jesus can prove to them, the prophet spoke of me. Praise the Lord. You understand? But if they went back to the scripture and they couldn't find nowhere where the prophets have spoke concerning Jesus, then they can look at Jesus and say the message that you're proclaiming is false. Praise the Lord. So the people of God got to examine the Bible when the preacher preach. And if what the preacher is saying does not line up with the Bible, don't you believe it? Praise the Lord. You understand? Joseph had said, yeah, I know we related through marriage. But he said, I want to hear what the Lord got to say. You got some folks today, some saints, they're not saved about their family. Their family dictated how they serve the Lord. Praise the Lord, you understand? Some people are really obedient until you start messing with their family. And when you start messing with their family, they start acting like vampires, werewolves. They start changing. Praise the Lord. Now, Bishop, praise the Lord. Don't mess with my king, folk. Praise the Lord. But if your king folk living like the devil, I'm going to say they're living like the devil. And if my king folk living like the devil, I'm going to say they're living like the devil too. Praise the Lord. But you got to be stronger. Praise the Lord. And you don't give in to your king folk. Praise the Lord. Righteousness that's all. Not your family. Your family. And I'm going to say this. Praise the Lord. I'm one of those pastors. I encourage the saints at all times. Love your family. Do all you can to help your family. If your family needs some time, praise the Lord, to come and spend some time with you, and you are able to accommodate them, take your family in. You understand? You need to go and see about your family if they need you. Go and see about them, praise the Lord. You understand? Nothing wrong with that. But I'm talking about don't let them change your mind when it comes to the word of God. Praise the Lord. Well, I know y'all. Praise the Lord. Bishop McBean done corrupted y'all mind and he done lost his Guyanese mind. Praise the Lord. What mind have I lost? Y'all lost my mind. That's the truth. Praise the Lord. So I have lost my mind and now I got the mind of Christ. Praise the Lord. That's what Paul said. Let this mind be in you which was also in, in Christ Jesus. So yes, Bishop McBean, I've lost his mind. Praise the Lord. And I got the mind of Christ. But I guarantee you, praise the Lord. What I'm teaching and what I'm saying, whether or not you like it, 
like me or whatever, you got to be honest with yourself and at least say that's what the scripture say. You understand? He's teaching from the Bible and he's reading from the scripture. Any pastor, and you got a pastor that go to the Bible and preach from the scripture. Thank God for him. Praise the Lord. And you, you know, he's worthy of double honor because he labored in the scripture. It's a laboring task to stay in the word of God and feed the people God's word. This thing ain't no easy thing. Praise the Lord. Because Satan wants to fight the pastors. Praise the Lord. This is a, this, listen, this is a heavy load to carry. But the good thing about it, pastors are not alone. Praise the Lord. You understand? We got a chief shepherd and his name is Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage the pastor. Yes, the Lord get every sometime to bear and sometime to carry. Praise the Lord. But let us don't forget, when Jesus was in the garden, it got heavy for him. But God Graduate by through 
into it. Go up. Go up. For the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. Praise the Lord. That's what some folks say. Don't obey what the preacher say. Do it your way. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You understand? And we got we, we, we got Christians all over the world that want a Burger King salvation. Praise the Lord. You understand? They want a buffet salvation. God don't have no buffet salvation. Mm. Praise the Lord. There is only one way. And Jesus said, I am the way. When did God present him a buffet sign of salvation? That's what men have done. Man come and say, there's more than one way to get to God. And God said to Jesus, there's only one way. And Jesus said, I am that way. No, if Jesus is the way to get to God, how are you going to get to God through Bishop McBean? Because Bishop McBean is not Jesus. Is your pastor Jesus? Mm. Praise the Lord. Is the pastor wife Jesus? Mm. Are the deacons Jesus? Mm. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. No man can come to the Father except they come by me. And if he said it, I believe it. Amen. If Jesus said, I'm the only way. I'm the only combination to the safe. Now, how are you going to try to get in the safe and you don't know the combination? Amen. Praise the Lord. The combination is J-E-S-U-S. -S. Mm -hmm. There is no name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. God only have one Savior and that's Jesus. Not your pastor. Not your mama. Not your daddy. Not the saints in the church. Jesus way. And everybody in the church got to follow that way in order to get to God. No other way to get to God. The only way is Jesus. So they say, well, go on. Let me ask you a question. What is folks telling you to do that God's word say don't do? What way are you following that God's word say God don't authorize it? If God don't sign off on something, why are you going along with the script if God didn't put this initial on it? Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Listen, this thing is tight, but it's right. Praise the Lord! No matter what nobody say, from Genesis to Revelation, God's word is still right. And if Bishop McBee don't believe it, that's all right. God's word still is right. And I'm going to show you from the roof because you know what Jesus said? What you hear huh? in the ear, proclaim it how we're on the house top. Get on the roof and proclaim it and let the world know. Let the church know, praise the Lord. We as leaders, we got to tell people the word of God. We must give them God's word. If we ain't going to give them God's word, let us go take our seat and sit down. Praise the Lord. Because if God sent us and put us there, he didn't put us there for us to look good, for us to look cute, put on some nice suit. Praise the Lord. Skip across the pulpit, skip across the floor, and then tell the people nothing from the word of God. As the late Bishop Mayer used to say, get up, skip across the pulpit. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Bishop said, you ain't see nothing. Praise the Lord. Because if you did see something, you would tell them what you saw. Praise the Lord. That's what I want to do. I want to tell you what the Bible said. And let's guess what? I ain't here to force you. I'm just here to give you the word. And then I'll leave you in the hands of a just God. Whether you believe it or not, it don't change what the Bible say. Go on up. Praise the Lord. False prophet. Some of you, some Christian, listening to this person, listen. When you will start listening to the Holy Ghost, what does say the Holy Ghost? If all you may speak as they were moved by the Spirit, and if the Spirit didn't move them to sing a song, why are you singing a song if the Spirit didn't move them? If the Spirit didn't authorize it, and people authorize it. Who's more important, the Spirit of God or Bishop McBee? 
know some folks don't like stuff like this, but guess what? I'm going to shout it from the housetop and tell you what the Bible says. And when I'm done, I still love you. And I'm going to pray for you when it's all said and done. But truth is truth. Buy the truth. Praise the Lord. And sell it that God's word is right. Praise the Lord. No matter how much we try to do this and try to twist it and try to do the uh, uh, observe the Passover. You understand? P pass over the scripture that God wants us to preach and teach. Oh no, I, I can't mess with that. Because if I mess with that, I can't drive a Cadillac. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Next year, I, you understand? They, they can put me in a Ford Focus. Praise the Lord. You understand? And if I keep, you understand, not telling them what they want to hear, pretty soon I'm going to be walking to church. But I don't mind walking to church. Praise the Lord, amen. And God fixes it so that I don't, I don't have to work, walk the church. I got a bus pass that I can catch the bus. Praise the Lord. But God ain't going to let me walk, you understand? Because God always got a chariot for God's people. Uh, and God will send me a chariot to get me to where I want to. So when I get there, I can open up my big mouth and blow the trumpet in Zion and tell you what's right, whether you like it or not. Praise the Lord. That's why my mouth is so big when I said I'm going to stand up to preach. Because that's who I am. I'm not changing for nobody. I'm just, I want to be a radical for Christ. I want to be a fool for Christ. Go on. Praise the Lord. These false prophets, they weren't sent by God. Praise the Lord. The colleague come and tell me God said the Lord. And I know the Lord is said, why I got to obey because he got some deacon title. He can he come to me and I try to I tell him to do something. But the word of God said do something different. He don't have to obey me. Praise the Lord. Because the Bible says Jesus is the son. And I come and tell him the Bible didn't say that. Mm. Now he loved me so much mm. that he can't obey God over me. Oh yeah, Bishop, you're right. Mm. He ain't no good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If he's going to take my word. Neither come on down and sit down somewhere because he ain't got no strength to stand for the Lord. He got to stand for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because if I'm wrong and I'm telling the scripture wrong, he should not obey it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't tell me what, but that's my pastor. And I got to obey him when he's teaching false doctrine and doctrines of death. I'm going to see you in the office when you're done. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Submission? That's doctrine of devil. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And you know what I ought to do? If you come and tell me that's doctrine of devil and I know he's right, I ought to humble myself and say, yes, sir, deacon. That's doctrine of devil. Praise the Lord. And if he come up reading doctrine of devil and I call him in the office and say, brother, deacon, what you taught tonight was doctrine of devil, he got to humble himself and say, yes, sir, bishop, I I tell you who we were, deacon. Sinners saved by grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. We were nothing but deserving hell bound folks. Praise the Lord. But he took us and made something beautiful out of our life. Amen. Sure did. Praise the Lord. There he is in joy. You understand? Sailing the seven seas. In joy and life. But they know God got a plan for his life. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Never thought he'd be sitting up there reading the word of God. But this is God's doing it. I never thought I would be here sitting there. Me, praise the Lord. Uh, but I, that, that lets me know, praise the Lord. No matter where you come from, God can take you and make something beautiful out of your life. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Don't believe false prophets. Believe what the Bible says. If the Bible says it's right, if the Bible don't say it, God is silent. God Before the message.
message came? Was there any message given? None. So if God don't speak, who can speak? Mm. Come on, somebody y'all straighten up and, and straighten up your shoulder and you understand? Know and let's be real. Mm -hmm. If God didn't speak, who's speaking? Yeah. You got that right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Because if God didn't spoke, it's the spirit of the devil. Yeah. And you got to ask yourself the question. Jeremiah said deeply. Matter of fact, before you get to Jeremiah, get me Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah 30, verse 10 and 11. Forgive me for standing up. I need to stand up a little bit. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10 and 11. Which say to the seer, mm -hmm. See not. See not. And to the prophet. And to the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell us what? Right things. Y'all want me to tell you the right thing or you want me to tell you the wrong thing? Whether or not what you want doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you what's right. Mm -hmm. You understand? They were telling the prophet, don't prophesy to us the right thing. Don't tell us the right thing. Mm -hmm. This is what's going on in the world today. It's not that you understand. Some people don't.
deceit. Prophesy deceit. Get you out of the way. Get out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Get out of the way, Bishop McGee. Get out of the way. Get off the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease. From before. From before. Don't stop talking about the Holy One. Stop getting saved. Get rid of God. We don't want to hear God. Every time we turn around, God said, God said. What you want to say? Mommy said. Mm. Well, 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 mommy in charge of this. <laughs> mommy didn't send me. Mama didn't ordain me. God ordained me. So how you want me to tell you what mama said or what daddy said? They came to Jesus one day and said, Master, your mother and your brethren are here. Mm -hmm. You know what Jesus said? Yeah. Jesus said, who's my mother? Who is my brother? Who is my sister? But them that do the will. Mm -hmm. See, the will of God is more important than your mother. The will of God is more important than your wife. The will of God is more important than whoever your family member may be. The will of God is the most important thing for the saints of God to be in. The safest place to be in the whole wide world is in the will of God. Stay in the will of God. Praise the Lord. And even if your wife mad at you or your husband mad at you or your family shun you and don't want nothing to do with you because you decide to stay in the will of God. That's the perfect place to be. It's in the will of God. Praise the Lord. Sound words. Words of strength to build the people up. Encourage their heart. Point them to the way of righteousness and holiness. That's what the Lord told me. And strengthen me. Praise the Lord. On Sunday, praise the Lord. Lord, I was so tired. But Lord, I feel like, like I got an energy boost today. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ride this energy while I have it. Because I may not have it next time. So I'm going to ride it right now. Praise the Lord. Get me Jeremiah chapter 23, David. Oh, we ain't done. Jeremiah 23. We'll be done this part in a few minutes. Jeremiah chapter 23. Let's go to verse 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Hearken not unto the words of the prophet. Hearken not to the words of the prophet. That prophesy unto you. They prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart. You see, <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's what don't happen with folks. Folks coming up with a vision. Mm -hmm. But it's of their own heart. It's not of the Lord. Read on. Not out of the mouth of the Lord. It didn't come from the Lord. It came from their mind. Mm -hmm. Went to bed and woke up with something. But if, if it comes from the Lord, amen. And if it comes from the Lord, you got to show it to me in the scripture. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Because you can't tell me it comes from the Lord. And you can't prove it in the scripture. If the scripture don't verify it and sign off on it, then what you're saying is not true. You've got to show it from the scripture in order to prove that the vision is from the Lord. Because if the word don't verify it, then what I say is a lie. True that. Read on. They say still. They say still. Unto them that despise me. Unto them that despise me. The Lord hath said. The Lord hath said. Ye shall have peace. You will have peace. And they say unto everyone. They say unto everyone. That walketh after the Im imagination of their own heart. Uh, they're walking after the imagination of their own heart. No evil shall come upon you. You see what that prophet was saying? Y'all can live how you want to live. And no evil coming upon you. Do what you want to do. You understand? Have a buffet style salvation. Mm -hmm. You understand? You understand? You got choices. Oh yeah, you got choices. Life or death. That's what Moses said. I put before you life and death. You got to choose one. That's when they walked around in the days of Israel. And it's the same thing today. You got a whole lot of false prophets out there. But Jesus said, you will know them by the fruit that they bear. And some of these stuff these folks say today, and these gullible people, you understand, they just eat up a whole lot of men. And I feel sorry for some of these people.
people because there's a lot of deceiving preachers out there. They're deceiving the people. And then some of them folks, they know what's right, but still go stay up in that church. No
thank God for the Kali up there reading for me. But the most important man is Jesus. Sure Praise the Lord. Love my wife, but the most important man is Jesus. I love the people of God, but the most important man in my life is Jesus. And I know he's the most important man in Deacon Lee's life, in my wife's life, and in the saints' life. Praise the Lord. The same man I got is the same man you got. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's a man that we all need. Yes. Master, don't you care that we perish? Jesus said, y'all ain't going to perish. You got me. Mm -hmm. Settle on down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's what the Lord does to us. Like he speaks faith into our situation. He says, settle down. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You understand? Yes. I know what's going on up there. But don't forget who you got on board. I'm Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And what you see happening up there, I got power and all I got to do is step up on deck. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, and when I step up on deck, I'm going to change your situation. And all I got to do is speak the word. He got up and said, look to the wind and the wave. Calm down, please. I don't even think he ain't got to say, please, calm down. Huh? And guess what happened? They obeyed him. What is it you're going through that Jesus don't have power over? What is it that you're facing that Jesus can't speak peace into your situation? Don't let Satan make you feel like you're alone. Huh? We're singing the song before I, I came up. I've heard... Uh, Trying to remember. Mother Payne was singing the song or something. The breakers dashing. I heard the trumpet peace, roll. Peace be still. No. And then and, and say sin. You understand? Trying to conquer my soul. Huh? But I heard the voice of Jesus. Huh? Bidding me to fight on. Because he promised never to leave me. Never to leave me alone. No. Never alone. Never. Praise the Lord. Because he promised never to leave me. Saints of God, God is with us. Praise the Lord. Stand still. Straighten up yourself. Strengthen yourself in the word of God. Quit you like me and men. You understand? Be encouraged. Take courage and stand up. You are a soldier in the army of the Lord. Don't let the devil and make you want to give up on God, you stick with God. Stick with the Lord. Read on, Deacon. Let me finish up in 10 minutes. Read on. Who has marked his word. Who has marked his word. And heard it. And heard it. Behold. Behold. A whirlwind of the Lord. A whirlwind of the Lord. Is gone forth in fear. Is gone forth in fear. Even as grievous whirlwind. Even as grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously mm -hmm. upon the head of the wicked. Upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord. The anger of the Lord. Shall not return. Shall not return. Unto him it hath executed. Mm -hmm. Until he had performed the thoughts of his heart. God don't perform the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days. In the latter days. He shall consider it perfect. Mm -hmm. I have not sent these prophets. I didn't send them. Read on. Yet they ran. Yet they ran with a message saying, Thus said the Lord. I didn't send them. Mm -hmm. They're on their own. Mm -hmm. And you got to discern to know if I send them or I didn't send them. Mm -hmm. You, the people of God, must know what the word of God said. That when you hear somebody say, God said it, and you know the Bible said, God didn't say that, you ought to know that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Don't try to mislead me. Don't try to deceive. That's a lie. If you don't know, they'll deceive you. Read on, Deacon. I have not spoken to them. I spoke to none of them. Yet they prophesied. Yet they're running with a message. And I didn't tell them nothing. Read on. But if they had stood in my counsel. If they had spent time with me. And had caused my people to hear my word. See, you know what God said? If they only hear my word. What I would tell them, when my people are sinning, I would give them the message for my people to repent. I'm not going to tell the preachers to tell folks to keep on living in sin. 
God ain't gonna do that. No, sir. If they're living in sin, the word should be repent. Mm -hmm. Don't stay in your condition. Repent. Get it straight. Get it right. Repent. Mm -hmm. If I say the word of God, the word of God tells me what's right. How can I come before you and lie to you? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. If I'm being told. the Lord, huh? You, you stay in the presence of God and you leave the presence of God and go out there and somebody tell you something different to do. All that time you spend in the presence of God is no good to you. Mm -hmm. Then you walk out and somebody tell you something different. Oh, yeah, I know what's right because I didn't believe it anyway. You sit up right there and don't even believe what the Bible says. You twisted scripture, folks. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Selective Christian. You know what the Bible Then they should have turned them from their evil way. Mm -hmm. See that, Deacon? Mm -hmm. You say the presence of God. Praise the Lord. You understand? God give you a message to teach mm -hmm. that sin is in the camp. Now you want to come up here and, 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 and go to Peter. You understand? Um, go to some encouraging message. Mm -hmm. That's not what God said. Mm -hmm. God said sin is in the camp. That's what you got to teach. But if you don't, if you, if you want to get along with everybody, you, you understand, you, you, you can go preach Lazarus. <laughs> you understand, you can preach that. God has said, teach Lazarus. God said, sin is in the camp, and I want you to preach the message against sin. Praise the Lord. But I don't want my wife to be mad at me. Praise the Lord. You understand, I don't want the impressive to be mad at me. Praise the Lord. You got to look over the compressi, look over your wife, look over whoever, and you best teach what God said, because if God says sin, sin is sin. And if you don't teach what God said, God will deal with you. Praise the Lord. And if you come and tell me you didn't preach what God said, I'm going to tell you next time, when you get up here, teach what God said. Because if you ain't going to teach what God said, I don't want to offend people. I don't want to offend Sister Nancy because she don't want to take no more. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, praise the Lord. I'll set up somebody else to take. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I'll get somebody else to do it. Praise the Lord because she's the only one who can take. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. But I thank God for her. Amen. Praise the Lord. Huh? Soldier in the army of the Lord. Praise the Lord. What she doing? She ain't doing it to be seen. She don't want no reward. She doing it because she love truth. This is why she doing what she doing. She love the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And I know sometimes my mouth get loud and whatever. Praise the Lord. Praise. But y'all know y'all pastor love truth more than I love any one of you. I don't love none of you over God's word. Uh -uh. Praise the Lord. Then they should have turned them from their evil ways. They should have turned them from their evil ways. And from the evil of their doing. And from the evils of their doing. Am I a God at hand? Am I a God at hand? Saith the Lord. Said the Lord. And not a God mm -hmm. afar off. Afar off. Can any hide himself in secret places? Mm -hmm. That I shall not see him. See what God said? Who, who can hide from God? Praise the Lord. Who am I hiding? Praise the Lord, Brother Pastor. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you know in your heart you're lying. Mm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. huh? Praise the Lord. That's why I don't say amen to nothing that I know is not true from the word. Because you know when I say amen, that means I agree with what is said. And if the word of God don't agree with it, why am I agreeing with it? Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody sing a song, testify, whatever. If they say something from the word and I know that's not true, I can't say amen to that. For what? Then I become people pleaser. Uh -uh. <coughs> Read on. Do not I fill heaven and earth? God said, I fill heaven and earth. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. I have heard what the prophets say. I heard what they say. That prophesy that prophecy lies in my name. They prophesy lies. In whose name? God's name. Mm -hmm. Read on. Saying, saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Dr. King. We got Dr. Kings in the church, Deacon. Mm -hmm. I have a dream. I have a dream. Read on. How long? How long? Shall this be in the hearts of the prophets? How long is it going to be in the hearts of these false prophets? That prophesy lies. They prophesy lies. Yea. Yea. They are prophets of the deceit. They are prophets of deceit. Of their own heart. Of their own heart. Which think to cause my people to forget my name. You see what they want? They want God's people to forget about God. By their dreams. By their dreams. Which they tell every man to his neighbor. Which they tell every man to his neighbor. As their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. Uh-huh. The prophets that have a dream. The prophets that have a dream. Let him tell a dream. Let tell a dream. And he that hath my word, mm -hmm. let him speak my word faithfully. Do it faithfully. What is the chaff? What is the chaff? To the wheat. To the wheat. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. Is not my word like as a fire? God's word is like fire, burning up things. Saith the Lord. And it's like a hammer. Like a hammer. You know what a hammer does? It break up things. Break is the rock in peace. That's what God's word does to me. You understand? It burn my what I think. You understand? And it break up what I think. Read on. Therefore, mm -hmm. behold. Behold. I am against the prophet. I'm against all of them that is telling lies. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. That steal my word. That steal my word. Every one from his neighbor. Every one from his neighbor. Behold. Mm -hmm. I am against the prophets. I'm against them. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. That use their tongue. They use their tongue. And say he said. They, they, they say they're using their tongue and say God said it, but God said they're lying. Behold. Behold. I am against them. I'm against them. That prophesy false dreams. Stop at 31. Where are you at? 32. Okay, stop right here. Praise the Lord. That's just part one. Mm -hmm. You're coming back if the Lord said the same for part two on Friday. May God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. May God give you peace. That's what the Lord strengthened me to come and tell the people of God and to let me know. Hear thou the word of the Lord. May God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. God give you peace. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. All right.